In this video, I'm going to look at how to solve logarithmic and exponential equations. And we're going to focus on the TI-84, solving these using the TI-84 graphing calculator. If you want to see more problems like this uh, done without the uh, graphing calculator, uh, just leave a comment at the bottom and we'll see how many people respond and I'll be uh, glad to do that. First, let's look at the definition of logarithm. Log Rhythm of x to base b is equal to the number l if and only if x is equal to b to the l. Okay. So basically the logarithm is the number that you have to take this base 2b to get the, the number x. And it must be that the base is positive. The base cannot be equal to 1. L can be any number. Okay. So since b is positive here, no matter what L is, as long as it's a real number here, X will be a positive number. So you can only take the logarithm of a number that's positive. You can't take the logarithm of a negative number or zero. Now, if I look at this part of the definition, these two are equivalent. Log of X to base B equals L and X equal B to the L. Those are equivalent. So if I take the exponential form here. And then say, take the logarithm of both sides here. I get the log of x. And a here can be any other base, okay? As long as it satisfies the condition that it's positive and not equal to 1. So we have log of x to base a is equal to log of b to the l to base a. And using properties of exponents, I'm allowed to bring this uh, exponent here to the uh, front. So I get this statement right here log of x to base a is equal to l log of b to base a and then solving for l and then switching the sides around i get this this right here log of x to base a over log of b to base a is equal to l but l is equal to the log of x to base b so i come up with this formula right here log of x to base b equals log of x to base a and log of b to base a a here can be any base, but again, if B on the other side is, say, a number like 2 or 3, we can choose A on this side to be either base E or base 10, because those are the ones you have in your calculator. So it makes it easier to solve that way. And we'll use this formula in one of the problems that I'm going to look at. And this is the change of base formula. So in the first equation, I have the log of 2x minus 1 is equal to 1. And if it doesn't have a base indicated, it's always base 10. So using this formula, this definition right here, that means that this expression right here should equal to this base, which is 10 to this power. So that's what I'm going to uh, use here. So in the first one, I'm, guess I'm, I'm gonna do it the long way without the uh, graphing calculator, because this one's pretty straightforward. So basically the way this works, by definition, 2x, minus 1 has to equal to this base taken to this power. That can be 10 to the first, which is 10. Okay, so then I get this regular linear equation. So adding 1 to both sides, that gives me 2x is equal to 11. 1 here and 1 here gives me 11. And then I just divide both sides by 2. Okay, these cancel out, I get x is equal to 11 halves. And that is your exact answer, 11 halves. If I divide it out, I can say this is the same thing as 5.5. Okay, x equal to 11 over 2, or in decimal form, 5.5. Uh, Okay, now the other ones I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, work strictly uh, using the calculator. Like I said, you can use uh, properties of uh, logarithms along with the definition to solve these. Without the calculator, you might need to solve a quadratic equation to get the actual answer, especially if it doesn't come out exact like this one did. But the calculator will give you a either an exact answer, and if it's not exact, it'll give you a decimal approximation. Now the first thing that I want to point out here is this. If you have an equation 
And I'm just going to call that equa that uh, left side f of x. So let's just this equation here, okay? Except the right side is one. So I want the right side to be zero. Okay. So let's say you have an equation f of x is equal to zero, and you want to solve it in the graphing calculator. Then what you do is you graph. The function y equal f of x y equal f of x and whatever zeros this has that will be the solutions to the equation okay so in this particular case what I would enter in the calculator in the calculator the expressions are called uh, y1 y2 so let me just clear this So what I would do in this case, y1 would equal to the log of 2x minus 1 and then I would take this over to that side so that would be 2x minus 1 minus 1. Okay, So if I rewrote this, this would be equal to zero okay because I took this th I took this one over to this side adding negative one to both sides so I'd get the log of 2x minus 1 minus 1 is equal to zero so that would have this equation you'd hit this equation right here but if you enter it in your calculator where the y1 is or the y2 it doesn't matter which one you use and graph it whatever zeros you get for this those would be the solutions to the equation okay so let me clear this okay so now let's look at the next one Okay, so now let's suppose we want to solve this equation. ln of x plus ln of x minus 4 is equal to ln of x plus 6. Okay, here the, the base is e, natural log. Okay, over here it's 10. So we had no problems with, with these. We get into these in the calculator. So I'm going to do this one in the calculator first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this over to this side over here. So what I'm going to have is log of x plus the log of x minus 4 minus the uh, natural log, I should say, of x plus 6 equals to 0. So that's going to be the, the value of the y1 or the y2. Okay, so I'm going to enter these in the calculator. Okay, so let me take uh, my calculator here. Okay, so I've already entered, it, entered these to make it a little bit easier. So I got ln, okay, I'm using the y2 instead of the y1. Uh, y2 is equal to ln of x plus ln of, let me just bring this over so you can see what I entered there, x minus 4. And remember, I brought this term on the right to the left to make the right side 0, so I can do this format here and get minus ln of x plus 6, okay? And then I've, I have this one selected, okay? So now I'm just going to graph it. Okay, so that's where it goes. Okay, so the zeros of that function that I graphed is where the graph intersects the x-axis. Okay, those are the x-intercepts. The first component of those x-intercepts are the zeros. So there's a zero right in here somewhere. Okay, so you get that value. I would hit the second key, and then over here has trace. I'm accessing the calculate menu, so cl click on that. And then I want zero, so that's number two. So either bring it highlighted or just enter the number two. Okay. Now here's the way it works. The zero is somewhere in here where it crosses the x-axis, which is also the solution. So I want the cursor, so I, I hit the right arrow here, so to the right here, until you see the cursor. There it is, right there. Okay, so keep moving it. You see left bound here. So you want to keep it to the left of where you believe it crosses the x-axis. So let me go one more. Okay, 
that's you gotta be close to it. So left bound, okay? It wants a left bound. So to do that is just click enter. Okay? Now it wants a right bound. So what I do is just hit the uh, right arrow to go past it. Go past that point where it crosses the x-axis. Okay. Okay, as long as you're past it. Now let's hit enter. The guess, here wants a guess. You can ignore that and just hit enter again. And then here, zero is x equal to six. And the way you verify this, of course, it's going to say zero here, and the y value would have to be zero. So actually, the, the x-intercept, this graph has an x-intercept of six, zero. And this one comes out exact, okay? And notice, notice here, if I wanted to check this, well, I wanted to check this, I could solve this using properties of logarithms, using the definition of logs and so forth. And I would be able to get the answer fairly easy. But you can see, look, if I put uh, if I put a six for the where the x is, so this would be six right here. If I put a six here, this would be six minus four. So that would be two. And then if I put a six here, this would be the natural log of six plus six is twelve. And over here I would have the log, the natural log of six. Here would be the natural log of two. But if I put these together using the properties of logs, that would be natural log. Okay, I can write a sum as a product here. So this would be 2 times 6 is 12. So I get the same thing on both sides. Okay, natural log of 12 equals natural log of 6 plus 6, which is also 12. So that, that checks, okay. Now, it had, this not had an exact answer. The calculator would still give you the, the solution, but it would be in decimal form. Okay, that could have been 6.25 or 6.13 or something rounded off. Okay, so let's go back up here. Okay, so now uh, I solved that one. Clear this. So the answer here, of course, is uh, 6. Solution is x equal to 6. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, so now I get uh, the log of x minus 1 plus the log of x equal to 3. And this is the base 2. Okay, this is not base 10 or natural log, so we have to do something a little bit different. So in order to use the calculator here, uh, we have to use this formula right here, okay? So how would I rewrite this, okay? So here's the way, the way it would happen. According to the formula, if I want the log of some number, in this case it's, a, it's an expression, but it works the same. If I want to find the log of some number to base two, then I take the log of that to some other base. Okay, so I can I can I can use base ten. I can use natural log. Okay, so I'm going to use natural log because that's in the calculator. Okay, that's the function in the calculator. So this would be the natural log of x minus one over the natural log of two. For this one, it'll be plus natural log of x over the natural log of two, and then I would bring the three over. Okay, I bring the three over. And then I could enter it, okay? So you, so you can see what I did here. I need to deselect this one, so I hit enter there. Oops. Uh, hit enter to deselect that one. And the one I want to graph is this one right here. So I hit enter. Okay, so look, at you can see what I entered here, so. It's the natural log of x minus 1 over the natural log of, of the whatever the base is for that first one is 2. Plus, okay, for log of x to base 2, it would be the, using base e, natural log of x over the natural log of 2. 
and then the 3 comes over, so that's minus 3. Okay? So, now, I hit graph. So you can see that it crosses somewhere in here. Looks like it's one, two, three something. Okay, three something. So let's do this a second. Calculate here. Trace. So I'm accessing the calculate menu. I want a zero, so I'm going to enter two. And then I hit the right here, right arrow. There's the cursor. Keep it to the left. Okay, left, so left bound, so it's close enough there, so I hit enter. Now I went to right bound, so now I want to go past where it crosses. Okay, so keep going over here, and we hit enter. Now it wants a guess. You could ignore that and hit enter again. And notice it said zero, and confirmation y equals zero. So the x-intercept is the point 3.2 to two places, 3.37 and 0. Okay, but I'm looking for the solution here, so I just use the first component. So the answer to this equation, it doesn't come out exact, so I just run it out to two places. And in this case, I would say then that x should equal to 3.2. Thirty-seven to two places. Okay, so now let's clear this. I do want to point out to you if you're, if you're solving if you're solving these problems uh, without the graphing calculator using the basic uh, properties of logarithms along with the definition of log. It is possible that in some cases you'll get one answer will be positive, one, set, one answer could be negative, you, you, and it could turn out that both answers work depending on the expression. But if I were to get, for example, in this first one here, let's suppose I got, I got two answers, and one of them was 6, and the other answer was negative 1. Let's say I, got, I, I, I didn't use a calculator, but I did the, uh, the algebra, and I got x equal to 6 and x equal to negative 1. Well, I showed you how the 6 works, how you can check it. But negative 1 is not going to work. So if I put a, put a negative 1 right here in this one, I get the natural log of a negative. You cannot have the natural log or the log in general of a negative number. That's undefined. So that one you'd have to reject. And if you were to solve this one using just algebraic techniques and logarithm techniques and so forth, you would get two answers, 6 and negative 1. But... Negative 1 has to be rejected because of what I just said. You end up with the natural log of a negative, and that's undefined. Okay? Now, the uh, last one is an exponential. So again, on this one, what you will get a graph, just what you will say, y1, y2, whatever, and it's going to be 2 to the x minus 1 minus 7, okay? Because remember, I want one side to be 0 to get it in the format that I want. So I'm bringing this 7 over to this side, and this I get 2 to the x minus 1 minus 7. Then all I have to do is just enter this into the calculator, graph it, and wherever the uh, graph crosses the x-axis, if it does, if it doesn't cross, then it could be that there's no solution. So, uh, Let's clear this then. And let's go to the calculator. And y equals. So again, I'm going to deselect the one that I use here. So let me go down here to this one. I'll just clear it. Clear that one. Clear this one. And then I enter. 2, and then the exponent would be, parentheses here, x minus 1, plus 
close parentheses then a little bit more come down over here and then I have the minus seven so minus seven and then I just graph it okay so now that's where it crosses the x-axis looks like it's just one point so I should have one solution or one zero so let's go to second and calculate I want number two again and then I move my cursor to the x-axis stay to the left of that point okay so right there and hit enter now once a right bound look at this so go past the point hit enter and then the guess you can uh, ignore and just hit enter again and there it is the zero is 3.807 and so on y equals zero so that confirms that I have a x-intercept and the zero or the solution to the exponential equation is 3.807 to three places 3.3.807 3 or 3.8 if you round it out to one place depending on what they tell you but that is the uh, way you solve these uh, and again, if you want to see more like this uh, without the calculator, uh, leave a comment. Or do you want me to solve more with the calculator? Again, leave me a comment and I will consider those. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.